Hello viewer, today I show you how to configure Samba server in Linux, basically CentOS 7 I using here. Uh, here I show you separately two part, one is Samba server and another is Samba client. For Samba server, uh, I use here operating system CentOS 7 file and pin server and Samba client, uh, for this I use here Windows 7 professional PC this one Windows 7 professional PC and another one Mac OS Mac OS this one Mac so I will configure a uh, Samba server and uh, those can uh, able to uh, access uh, from this uh, this machine from this machine and this machine to this server so first of all uh, to start this tutorial uh, we need to uh, install operating system those I have already installed here uh, this is the server I have already login here so uh, my first job uh, is uh, if the by default Samba uh, package uh, already installed so first of all we need to remove the uh, default uh, Samba package uh, for this just I use uh, Samba I am remove Samba this one just paste yam remove samba uh, this one uh, default installation package so that's why I need to uh, uninstall first and freshly install samba server and this will uh, better for uh, faster working after I remove the samba package uh, default package then I need to install samba just copy this one this one uninstalling yes uninstall complete now freshly install yam install samba i think here 32 package need to be installed yes 32 package so after installing uh, samba package uh, we need to create a share folder and that can be anyone can access uh, from Windows or Mac PC uh, this one the public share I need to create this ok just copy installing Samba after install I need to create the <coughs> directory share directory is yes, complete now I need to create the public share folder just mkdir ok I need to permission for this folder all permission that means read write permission ok just permission yes cs mode permission ok then need to configure samba configuration file here yeah, I just use vim to access configuration file here yeah, samba configuration file here yeah. Uh, here I need to add some uh, information the Samba configuration file this one the information so I just copy this one only one two three four five six, seven line and uh, this one add the global section in configuration file so just copy this one go to this that I find uh, insert this one global so I need to just free here and then paste just this this information this here on the work group default work group host allow this one my uh, LAN IP range this one for uh, one 172.16 port dot something 172.165 dot something this one my LAN IP range so I use this here uh, this one and these are uh, common feature this one so paste already ready paste ready then this one global section another part also have this one this part need to bottom of the configuration file at the following lines at the bottom so th this one copy and go to the bottom yes bottom then paste paste here then this one the publisher that I already created uh, the mkdr and uh, and here is its uh, permittable uh, rules so done everything now save 
configuration file change ready now just start samba services this one for services here this one smb service done then nmb service done then smb this one enable need to enable so that it can enable after reboot done and another one nmb enable yes done now uh, test the samba configuration just uh, using the test param file just this one copy and test param yes just enter now enter yes now here showing the file that I those I copy the configuration file uh, also the global settings that I already put this one okay no problem so uh, samba uh, test uh, run is okay and uh, now need to allow some port for samba so first one this one one three seven port okay allow yes yeah, succeed then one thirty eight port yes then one thirty nine yes then four four five done and last one nine zero one port success so everything firewall setting done now restart firewall to apply the change just firewall cmd reload okay reload ready and another thing is this one AC Linux configuration uh, by default AC Linux enforcing so uh, for Samba running perfectly we need to AC Linux disable so just uh, go to the configuration for AC Linux let us use VIM here yes configure AC Linux and here just I want to change uh, uh, just uh, add dis disable so just I and disable disable okay then save done uh, now reboot the server let's reboot for effect the AC Linux rules yes reboot ready We need a few seconds just rebooting the server. So after reboot, we, uh, after reboot, we just ne need to check from the Windows PC is it working or not. Yes, reboot ready. Need to put it open again. to send some settings for putty for better view yes uh, now we need to check the samba server is it working or not from uh, OS PC uh, Windows 7 so just go to the Windows 7 this one Windows 7 client PC so just Put two, one zero. This one my Samba server IP. Yes. Yes, coming. Come ready. This one public share. That's already created. So is it working? I create a new folder. Yes. This one running. Okay. This one done. So mm, this portion done. So, now second portion. I need to create password protected share in Samba server so every user uh, need to password for his his or her folder to access any file 
so first of all uh, we need to create uh, a user and need to add the user in samba group so just step by step just add user and just get here tech monoir and sorry tech monoir yes then just add the group group add ready now need to hmm, user tech monar yes just apply the user mode and need to create password for tech monar folder yes password creation ready now create the share uh, just uh, create secure share folder this one need to access pass for password by password just create secure secure share folder ok make mkdir secure share and need to permission 755 on the secure share folder ok and this one uh, bind for tech monoir and enter now again need to change configuration file for samba uh, samba configuration file so just go to samba configuration file yeah, here I need to uh, add some lines in Samba configuration file. This one, the secure share folder only. And this one need to copy and paste uh, bottom of the Samba configuration file. Just copy. Uh, I for insert and already bottom line here. I just paste this one. This one Samba secure. Uh, uh, this one secure share folder rules writable, browsable or take monoar can able so save and quit now again I can test Samba is it working or no yes enter uh, yes everything working so now need to restart Samba service this SMB and NMB ok restart ready service now go to Windows or Mac and just test the secure share folder. Okay, first of all, Mac. Zero four dot one zero. I have already put here, so just connect. connecting this one connecting from Mac so need a few seconds for connecting if any problem just reboot the machine and it will work from Windows machine also we can check this one yes secure secure one come ready just open yes I have already uh, add this password for tech monoir in credential that's why uh, not coming but from uh, Mac these are problem connecting this one and connect again connect yes continue yes this one authentication come ready that I use here the username was tech monoir 
and take monor password just connect yes this one uh, secure share then connect yes let's try create new folder here yes I'm ready another folder ok everything ok now so working from Mac also Mac also everything ok so if you are if this is ok and if you uh, get help uh, from my tutorial subscribe my channel thank you